Muichiro broke the Hashira curse, and that's insane. Y'all probably already guessed it by the title and the thumbnail, but today we're gonna be covering some Demon Slayer, aka Pack Watch the Anime. Cause for as wholesome, goofy, and as cutest as anime can be at times, that still does not exclude the fact that it's been enough body squad in this show to fill up the front row of a pop smoke concert. Like look, Tanjiro Family, packed. Muscle Neck Hand Demon, packed. Ball Girl and Arrow Nigga, packed. The Zesty Hand Demon, packed. Rui, packed. Rangoku, aka the Krispy Kreme Donut, packed. Uzui, packed. Well, Uzui ain't get packed. He more so just twinning in with Joseph Joestar now, but y'all get the point. He still got sent in early retirement. But if I was Uzui and I was one of the people responsible for packing up an upper rank demon for the first time in over 100 years, man, I'd be on Instagram talking so spicy to the ops and drop a diss track with it too. We'll be like, them demons put me on disability, but I had this ability to pack that gas up. Now they down to, I don't think you feeling me. I'm out here smoking ops, now they in the ground, yeah. I'm outside, and they lie, I murk your guys You realize you've been losing demons like in peace Yeah, I lost my hand, but that's a fair trade to me <laughs> I'm already knowing, Muzan would've opened his timeline mad as hell And after the treacherous activities that occurred in the Swordsmith Village <sighs> It's only gonna get worse for the boy. Cause Muichiro absolutely exposed the trashest upper rank demon, Gyoko. But before we can even get to the fight, it's a little bit of stuff we need to know first. So let me get y'all up to speed real quick. <laughs> no, roll the intro. So off rip, we pick up right where we left off and we see a Kaza getting summoned to the Infinity Castle. And y'all boys, to me, the Infinity Castle is top two and it's not two when it comes to anime villain bases. I swear, I've watched this sequence like over five times at this point and it's just satisfying. Y'all can't tell me this ain't clean. Got a Kaza moving around, bobbing, weaving, and falling like he's in a Super Mario Bros level or something. I don't know, maybe TikTok is just frying my brain or something and I'm easily impressed now, but I don't care. The Infinity Castle is the hardest base out there and I'm standing on that. I'll box with somebody, mama, daddy, sister, cousin, brother i don't care i'll even box with somebody old ass granny over if she won't smoke play with me if you want to so muzan summoned all the upper ranks to the infinity castle for a meeting and here we get introduced to the zesty pot demon gyoko the personification of pussy demon hantengu the even zestier max prestige light skin demon doma and upper rank demon number one kokushibo who really just don't want to be emo opium member who wants to be different and is sitting in the corner like a dweeb <laughs> Here, I got you, bro. Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again. Don't need me change my mind. So the reason everybody there in the first place is because Muzan realized the ops is up like 20 to 1 at this point and the demons ain't did nothing to spin. They was just having a conversation and then Muzan pulled up doing some sort of science experiment like, Y'all remember them trash ass niggas Daki and Gutero? Yeah, well they just got packed. So how do you think that makes me feel? Oh. Is that true, my lord? My sincerest apologies. How can I atone for this embarrassment? Oh, let's see, um... Ooh, I can give you a hand job- Keep your wretched hands to yourself. Answer me this. Why do I keep you lot around if you're all so useless? Lord Muzan, I- Motherfuckers in the demon world always in a barbershop now talking about some Muzan ain't this, Muzan ain't that, Muzan ain't no hitter, Muzan a fake, shut up! I got a little lame ass just on Twitter calling me Lil Dark 2.0 cause I won't go spin on my ops. Do I look like Lil Dark to you? Uh, Lord Muzan, sir, it's actually called X now. They changed the name a few months back. Come again? I don't remember asking you what it was called. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, chill, I'm sorry. But with all due respect, Lord Muzan, what do you expect? You literally have us out there running solo squads while you're out there clapping human cheeks and role playing as a little boy. I mean, at least send us in set to two like the Akoski. Give me one good reason I shouldn't send your ass to a tea party with Queen Elizabeth right now. I, I have information, yes. I have information on the swordsmiths. Go on, and it better be good or I'll have your ass flipping burgers at McDonald's quicker than a snow bunny trying to buy a Stanley Cup on sale. Play with me if you want to. I got your job application right here, nigga. So Gyoko tells Muzan he found the location of the swordsmith village, and he immediately sends both him and Hantengu to go turn that motherfucker into a rolling loud mosh pit. Tanjiro and the gang had already been in the village for a little while and was just chilling. This is the first time we get a Muichiro, and off rip, we just see him bullying this little kid. He legit karate chopped him in the neck, started talking shit, took his toy fighting doll, then proceeded to break this nigga's toy fighting doll, and just left this poor little kid to go cry in the tree. Nah, this man Muichiro might be the actual demon. He moving shysty. So Tanjiro uses Talk No Jutsu on Kotetsu to make him feel better and then as they're walking back they see Muichiro. Huh? huh? Mister you're already done? What the hell? I had that set on give me God of War difficulty. It should have been impossible to beat. Nah, 
That shit was ass. It did break my sword though, so I just took this one instead. I'm off the motherfucking drawers, I be tripping if a motherfucker put up on me, boy. So fast forward a little bit, Tanjiro, Muichiro, and them end up becoming cool, but little did they know the demons pulled up to the village. And here, ladies and gentlemen, pay special attention to the screen as we are about to bear witness to the first victim of the season. As he is walking down the stairs, he notices his elegantly crafted vase designed to emulate the- I don't know why I decided to use an accent there. Eh, fuck it. Golly gee, that Meg the Stallion IG life went crazy. I wonder if we have any baddies with a hidden talent like that in the village. So as this dude is walking down from the hot springs, he sees this vacious sitting there in the middle of the steps. Dog fight or flight instincts are non-existent. Cause I'm already knowing if it was me and I seen something suspicious, hey, that ain't none of my business, OG. I'ma just keep it pushing and avoid all that. So equipped with the curiosity of a neighborhood watch Karen, bro walks up to the vase, looks in it, and then I like it, cut G. <laughs> Oh. My. God. Gyoko legit munched on this nigga. Pause. Swallowed him whole. Pause again. And then spit him out on the pavement because he said he tasted bad. Pause again. <laughs> Hey, that was a wild sentence. I'm not gonna cap. But back to dude, Gyoko got my boy looking like a whole pretzel. So we cut over to Tanjiro, Muichiro, and Nezuko, and they just chilling in this room. Tanjiro. Tanjiro, wake up. I know you have it. Tanjiro. Ah! Muichiro, what the hell, man? I know you have it. Genya told me you saw Mitsuri at the hot springs earlier and caught them biddies bouncing in 4K. Genya said they was going like, hey, 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 she bounced on the dick toes, girl. Ah, no, 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 Muichiro, nah, man. You got it all twisted. If I had the sauce like that, I would have been sent to the video. Honest. Cap, we both know you're more capped out than LeBron. You're just trying to gatekeep the sauce for yourself. Now send the video. Okay, Anthony Edwards. God damn. Just give me a second. But before Tanjiro could even get Muichiro the sauce, this old musty ass eczema having big forehead Discord mod, Hantangu, slithers into the room and completely airs that motherfucker out from the sheer amount of anti riz this man has. Like, if it was a president for scaring away the hoes, it'd be Hantangu. Bruh, imagine pulling up to a two man with him and your partner. That's immediately a dead mission. The baddie just gonna laugh in your face. No cheeks for nobody. And that's treacherous. Wait, I'm rambling. But, anyways, Muichiro wasted no time and immediately blitzes Hantangu, ready to. Boom, this nigga. He was like, Mist breathing, fourth form, Febreze cloud. <laughs> but Hantangu is a five star D1 Weave Nation recruit, so he just dodged his attack by jumping to the ceiling. Tanjiro jumps in the mix and tried to hit him with a Hinokami Kagura, but do you think he connected? No. Nope. Hantangu weaved his attack and just hit the deck. Nezuko said she's seen enough and was like, Strike Flexes on everybody showing up. She's been watching her blue lock and kicks the absolute dog shit out of Han Tangu, making him drop his entire loadout. So while he's knocked on all fours waiting to get rezzed, Muichiro just straight up decapitates him. Tanjiro's looking like, we won? But wait, upper rank demons don't always die that easily. Muichiro, watch out! And Tanjiro was 100% correct, because tell me why this man activated GTA cheat codes. Hit a whole Titan transformation and was like, <laughs> No, I had to double it. So now there's two demons. Tanjiro and them don't know what the fuck is going on. So him and Muichiro just try to behead both demons at the same time like they did with Upper Six. But they ain't even get the chance. The airbender demon with the leaf was just like, oop, got his ass. And swatted Muichiro to Timbuk 2. Made him do a whole stage transition. Ooh, that brother's floating in the air. So while Muichiro is running through the forest trying to get back in the mix, he sees Kotetsu fighting for his life against a variant of the fish stick skin from Fortnite, but it's tweaked out on trend. Oh, it's just that little useless nigga from earlier with the toy doll. He's not important. Fuck him. Muichiro really was about to just straight up dip on him, but Kotetsu was like, What the fuck, mister? You can't just leave me? You're supposed to be a demon slayer! Save me! Nah, your sword making skills are mid. You big jerk! Take that back! Help me! Nah. I have so few rain leaks! <gasps> Sophie Rain? Hearing this, Muichiro knew it was time to lock in, wasted no time. Fatherless breathing, seventh form, milk run. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Mr. Muichiro, thank you so much. I was so scared. I should have never called you a bootleg seaweed head moist critical. Wait, when did you call me a bootleg seaweed head moist critical? I'm so sorry. <laughs> so about those Sophie Rain leaks. Yeah, uh, here. You have to download CapCut to remove the Grimace shake, though. Really, nigga? Sorry? Come on. I don't know how to do that. You'll have to show me later. So Muichiro starts carrying Kotetsu over his shoulder, and they run deeper into the forest trying to find the work shed so he can swap out his loadout. They get completely lost, but get lucky when they run into another swordsmith who knew exactly where to go. So them boys was about to pull up to the shed, but Muichiro was like, Stop. 
it's here. And out rolls the zesty pot demon, Gyoko, who immediately got to trolling. And I don't know why, but for some reason, this nigga just give me Hisuka vibes. So I'm gonna just give him a zesty voice. I got this sauce for you, my boy. No. Zesty. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Gyoko, pleasure to meet you, and I just have a small request. Before I kill you, might I have a minute with that delicious looking child? Hey, Cupcake. What are you holding on to me for? I'm uncomfortable. Please kill him quick. He's definitely eye-banging me right now like a weirdo, giving off EDP vibes if you ask me. EDP? Really? EDP? I was EDP before EDP was even a thing. They just caught him on video. Ooh. If you know the things I've done and the people I've eaten, I make EDP look like an angel. And plus, I make artwork. Do you think EDP is an artiste like me? What do you mean, artwork? So the pod demon reveals his latest piece of work, which is really just a pile of bodies he's caught held together with swords and goo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tremble before a true work of art. It perfectly emulates my aura. And do a look, do you want to see the best part? When you twist it and shove it in deeper, they just- <laughs> So Kotetsu just starts tweaking out, crying to everything cause he sees how five of his boys from the village just got absolutely packed. Wichiro peeped and stood on business immediately by going for dog neck. Gyoko teleported out of the way to the roof of the shed but Wichiro was on his ass like white on rice. And this time he was able to slash the pot but not Gyoko. And apparently Gyoko has some sort of weird fetish with his pot so this man just started raging. How dare you slash my artwork! My personification of aura! You muscle headed buffoon! It's unforgivable! So anyways, bro just spawns in these two fish from Super Mario. Mario Bros and tries to impale Muichiro with a thousand needles. Muichiro dodged, but then this one fish just turned around to peep Kotetsu and the old man was just standing there scared and was like, Who the fuck is this nigga, bro? And shout out another thousand needles I was gonna send these boys to go moonwalk with Michael Jackson. But Muichiro came in clutch with this little tell my family I love them ass save. Got bro looking like he just finished getting the acupuncture massage. And I really find this funny, cause what, after like two conversations with Tanjiro, Muichiro turned into a dude that's willing to sacrifice himself for others. When at the very beginning of the season, we know good and damn well that he would have been completely fine with watching these two boys get boomed. But anywho! So Gyoko starts clowning Muichiro for looking like a porcupine, so he flashbacks towards him, slicing at his neck. But before he can decapitate him, the zesty pot demon hit a small little Uno reverse and traps Muichiro. Blood demon art! Water pot prison! Have fun suffocating in there, Hashira. Not only is my water pot prison unbreakable, but the inside is 100% unfiltered coochie water filled with the juices of the countless number of bad bitches I just launched like Ruby Rose. How else do you think she got a music career? Oh shit, you telling me some of Ruby Rose's is mixed in here? Wait, I thought you only spoke in monotone. But nah, I lied. This cap. It's actually that nigga Hantangus. You met him. He's a pussy. He's full of the stuff. Oh hell no. Nah. I think I had a little too much fun recording that bit. But nah, what actually happens is Gyoko left to go investigate the shed while Muichiro was drowning and Kotetsu was trying to save him. So through the power of random plot device power up no jutsu, an air bubble from Kotetsu, and seeing him get stabbed, Muichiro was able to break free. While this was going on, Gyoko was over at the shed terrorizing the old head from earlier but gets distracted when he sees Hazaneska over in the corner, literally grinding. Hey dumbass, don't you see me over here about to pack up your friend? Don't you care? But Hazaneska is hyper focused on the blade so he's giving this man zero attention. And this just pisses off Gyoko. Gyoko got him hitting the Arthur Fist meme. So Gyoko just gets to beating his ass, got him all cut up and bloody, and he even knocked off his mask to reveal that Hazaneska is a whole Giga Chad. But Hazaneska ain't give a fuck. He locked in on that blade with his AirPods on. He had to been bumping that good peasy or something. If we locked in, ain't no switching up. And this goes on for a minute until Muichiro pulls up. And now he has a newly awakened Demon Slayer mark, which he got from his backstory. And his backstory is pretty much the same as everyone else's, so he's just gonna speed around through it real quick. Cue the music. Muichiro had a family, his mom got sick and was on her deathbed. Packed. His dad tried to get medicine to save her and fell. Packed. Random NPC demon attacks him and his twin brother. Twin brother gets a life threatening injury. Packed. Muichiro rages like a little Fortnite Timmy and attacks the NPC demon. Packed. And then, yay! Demon Slayer Mark. Huh? What the fuck? He didn't drown in the coochie water? Seeing this, Gyoko released 8 trigram 64 hentai tentacle palms, destroying the whole shack and capturing Muichiro. So after this, Gyoko hears a noise. So he looks over and he sees Hazaneska still working on that sword. Yeah. He's a dumbass. That nigga definitely wrote the sword to Mitch Short Bus. So Muichiro ended up breaking free and started flexing his new sword and said, Yeah. Demon home too, pussy. 
and then just started swag surfing on bro, slicing and dicing the tentacles. Then went for Gyoko's neck, but he weaved out the way at the last second. <laughs> Did you really think a mere human could keep up with my speed? Foolish brat! But Muichiro was unfazed. He was like, Did you pray today? Did you pray today? Cause no, if you did it, I'ma have to dig you down on some kind of shit. Oh no. So Gyoko tried to hit him with a sneak attack, but Muichiro just started showing how he could have went D1 for weaving, dodging all these water blasts and needles. And then just hits him with a slice from the heavens that had Gyoko in complete shock. And we just gonna pause right here real quick, cause this scene is when I knew Muichiro was a certified demon. Man stood no L's at the middle school lunch tables back in the day, cause the way he got to blazing Gyoko, he would have had to switch schools after getting violated like that. Your vase is whack, your pockets empty, your hose non-existent, your body musty to use some old spice face sad boy the amount of motion you have none shall i go on motion who ain't got no motion i'm the definition of motion nigga the, 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 why i are you ignorant human bro you have no motion i checked your ig that follower to following ratio is atrocious you only get like 12 likes per post here check your dms i sent you links to a couple youtube videos maybe they can help you although i seriously doubt it and this is when gyoko just starts raging and shoots 10,000 sardines directly at him but muichiro just hit him with the mist breathing sixth form ban for ban and literally countered this nigga attack with a million slices realizing he just tried to go ban for ban with muichiro and lost embarrassing <laughs> gyoko decides to shed his skin and whip out his ultimate form and for some reason after taking what like four l's in a row bro is still talking like he's him like huh <laughs> behold only two people have ever witnessed this form who your mom and dad shut up shut up you impotent human i am talking behold my aura in its perfect and beautiful form ultimate deep seeking assassin Say something! Or are you just too terrified to speak? Nah, that shit was just lame. I'm just thinking about how you look like the Little Mermaid. Oh wait, I have an idea. Hola! Soy Muichiro, and I need your help! Can you find the trash ass nigga that I'm about to pack? Huh? In the tree? Yes, he's right there! You found him! I knew I could count on you! All right, playtime's over. I'm gonna cook you now. So Muichiro just hotboxes the whole area. Got Gyoko more confused than J.R. Smith during game one of the NBA Finals. Like he's literally just chasing after this man after images, completely lost. Like somebody get this man a map. And just by his face, I can tell he's thinking one thing. Right hand on the Bible, God can strike me down if I'm lying. <laughs> that motherfucker's cheating! Gyoko was absolutely cooked after getting hit with this elite level trolling. Then Muichiro was like, you give me zesty vibes. So it's only right I finish you off with the zesty attack. Huh? Mist breathing. First form. I need the max. And then just booms this nigga to kingdom come by stun locking them in a devious combo, slicing them to a thousand pieces. Yeah, I've seen all I needed to. Admit this man in and let him cook university immediately. Muichiro ran the ones with the upper rank, exposed him, didn't get boomed or sustained any career ending injuries, and made sure the other demons couldn't grab Gyoko's reboot card? Yeah, he pretty much got that ghost status on lock in my book already. Hey, real quick, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, hit that sub button for me, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the upload. I just want to thank y'all for getting me to 20k the support has been insane and i got more hits on the way for y'all soon so um yeah i'll see y'all next time be smooth